Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to do mean encoding or target encoding for categorical attributes. So this mean encoding or target encoding is very helpful in order to explain the uh, values. So this target encoding is very good to pick up the values that can explain the target that is the output variable that we want to predict. So this will be very helpful uh, in uh, most of the Kaggle competitions. Most of the top Kagglers use this, but it also has a disadvantage that uh, it won't work very well on the test data. But so far I have seen uh, most of the time it has improved the score uh, greatly. So be sure this is like one of the important uh, encoding techniques you can use in order to uh, get higher score for your uh, machine learning module. Now let's uh, dive into that. First, I will just uh, load a data set. I'm gonna use loan prediction data set. It will be in the data folder. So loan prediction data set, we will see. Okay, this is the data we have and uh, we have so many uh, categories. So here you can see gender, married, dependence. Yeah, this is also a category. Uh, education, self-employed, lastly we have urban property and this is the loan status we want to predict. So I'm gonna take only like couple of attributes but uh, you can take all the attributes if you want. For this example this is the target and I'm gonna take only uh, dependence and uh, gender. I think that will be enough. So in the columns calls equals I will have gender and um, dependence dependence okay these are the two attributes I'm gonna use for call in calls if you just have one attribute means you can also just directly go into that so before that we have to import the module so from Category encoders import target encoder. So if you want to install this means you can install like this pip install category encoders. So this will uh, perform the installation. For each time you have to initialize the target encoder so i will call it as target encoder equals target encoder so this is the initialization so after that we have to fit the data that is the input data and the output data so t dot fit x equals df of call so the corresponding column and y will be df of the target so here the target is uh, loan status maybe here i'll just uh, have it as target equals loan status here i'll just uh, mark it as target itself so based on the target it will uh, gather up the mean Okay, so after we fit the data, we will move to the next step that is transform the data. So in the transformation, we can have values equals t dot transform of the column we have to pass. So this will give you the corresponding uh, results. And after that, we will just concatenate with the original data. So that will be df equals pd dot concat of df comma values access equals one. So if you want to do the same for the test data means you can just uh, fit with the train data and after that uh, you can uh, transform for the test data also. So that is how you can do. And finally I will just display the head. Okay, let's run this. So we are facing an error because uh, the target is in string format. You have to convert the target into some uh, label encoding uh, techniques. 
So we will just quickly uh, use the label encoder in order to convert the target uh, attributes or else we can simply uh, use it like this df of loan status equals df of loan status dot map so this is one way of uh, doing the mapping a dictionary so y will be mapped as yes and uh, n will be mapped as zero so y will be mapped as one and uh, n will be mapped as zero let's run this and uh, see how the data looks like so this is how the data looks like now let's run this okay now we have got the results okay now you can uh, clearly see this is the mean encoding or target encoding of this particular uh, value so here you can uh, see a number for gender and dependence so this is the average target value of that particular category so currently we are not seeing female so i'll just increase the number of records let's see uh, whether i can like shuffle this so df dot sample frac equals one so this will shuffle the data set and after that i will just get the top 10 okay now you can see so for female this is the average uh, number and uh, for male this is the average uh, target value and we also have uh, null values that's why we have a different value here but uh, we just need to consider uh, only male and female that is the original values of the data frame so this is the average uh, target value of all data points belonging to this particular uh, category and other than that we have uh, dependence here for dependence which have 0 is uh, 0 0.68 and uh, for 2 is uh, 0 0.75 so like this uh, we are getting some average uh, target value and based on this we can easily predict our uh, target so this is how uh, target encoding or uh, mean encoding works so like this you can apply it for all the categorical columns uh, you have so this is just for uh, creating some new features and uh, this target encoding will be definitely helpful in improving the model performance and also beware of overfitting or uh, data leakage because you are leaking some uh, target information using this uh, uh, mean value so that's why uh, you have to use it according to your uh, scenario so if you are uh, dealing with some contest and you have uh, almost same train and test data means this will be very helpful but if you are going for real time means uh, this won't help you that much because in test data it will uh, definitely won't work properly so try to think and uh, use it accordingly and uh, that's it guys if you have uh, any queries regarding this uh, encoding method please leave a comment below and apart from that if you like this video hit the like button and i will see you guys in the next video